Welcome to day 39 of Power of Five. Today's topic is the name of Jesus. I'm sure you are aware that everything works by authority. In other words, a government has authority over the people and the rules and regs, regulations of the city and the different kind of laws that have governed people in all kinds of ways. Well, the kingdom of heaven is very much like that. It has authority and it has been given to the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have the right to pray. We have the right to cast out demons. We have the right to see the sick be healed. We have the right to declare our freedom. In the name of Jesus, we, fr we find our own freedom of life. We find the spirit of the living God working in us. It says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. But one thing that you need to realize, in order for you to operate in the name of Jesus, in order for you to have the authority that the name has been given to be given to you, you have to bow your knee. You have to bow your knee and say with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. You have to realize that he is the one in charge and that you are not, and that when you do that and submit to his authority, you receive his authority. So when you submit that Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, you now have authority over sickness and disease. When you submit that he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, you have authority over your pathway of life, your journey of life, that you can follow the Holy Spirit, be led by the Holy Spirit, and let the Spirit of God speak to you in your heart. It says here in John chapter 15, verse 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. And that fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. He gave you the right to pray and to ask for anything in his name. And if you, what that means to ask for anything in his name, that you have already submitted your knee, you have already confessed that he is Lord, so you are following his plan. So many people get it all confused where they start thinking that I can develop my own plan and make God bless it. And that's not the way the kingdom works. The kingdom works by you submitting to the authority. If you have truly submitted to the authority, you won't ask for anything outside what has been planned for your life or outside your authority. He's going to ask you to walk your journey of life, to stay your course, and to be the best you you can be. And if you are going to be the best you you can be, you have every right to pray for whatever God has assigned in your life in the name of Jesus, and it will get done for you. It says in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The name of Jesus is the most important name in all creation. There is no name above it. There is no authority of above, above it. There is no one that controls ab uh, anything that has to do with the name of Jesus except Jesus himself. God the Father gave Jesus authority in his name, and then he asked every knee to bow and every tongue to confess that he is Lord. And when you bow your knee and confess with your tongue, you will get kingdom blessings in your life. My confession prayers today are these. There is no other name greater than the name of Jesus. By his name, I am saved. By his name, I am healed. By his name, I pray. Jesus Christ has given me his name so I can be fruitful and effective in life. By his name, I have the grace to succeed in life. So we come to the communion elements right now. And I take this bread today in the name of Jesus, remembering the power of his name. By his name, poverty, sickness, and sin must bow their knee. I pray to you, Father God, in the great name of Jesus, your son, and thank you for giving me the name of Jesus to cover and protect me. I take this cup today in the name of Jesus Christ as a symbol of God's provision for my future here on earth and in heaven. Father God, thank you for exalting Jesus Christ to the highest place of authority and for giving him a name over every other name. 
I praise you, Father God, for the name of Jesus. Now, instead of praying for you today, I want to command you in the name of Jesus, go and change the world. Go and make a difference.